Hi, I'm Trevor with Hi-Vis Shooting Systems. And we're going to install a front sight on this AR today. So this is the fiber optic front AR sight that we make. It's a, just a screw-in type of sight that essentially goes in almost any detachable or fixed AR type sight. So it'll go in, a, in most all MBUS sites. There's a few on the market. Uh, that it's not quite compatible with, but most of them it is. So it could go on a site that you either have on an AR or essentially anything that has a Picatinny rail and uses detachable uh, sites. So this is the Hi-Viz fiber optic AR front post. It is a threaded post, goes in a standard fixed A-frame or detachable and bus or backup type site. Fits in most brands on the market. Comes with several accessories here we're going to talk about. Comes with a carrying case that you can put the extra fibers in. Like a lot of Hi-Viz products, uh, this has interchangeable fibers, so you can uh, remove, replace, and reuse these. So you can change from a um, red or green, and you can reuse or interchange those. Also comes with a wrench that is used for the installation and adjustment of the site for your elevation. Of course, comes with the site post, and then it comes with a tool to unlock and interchange the light pipes. So our site also includes a new detent. Uh, the detent that you'll find typically in most sites, uh, they're very short and the top post is just round and straight, which is perfectly adequate for uh, holding those posts from rotating. And on a standard post like you see on this, you know, a square post like you see on the site here we're about to change, if that site moves slightly, it's, it's not an issue with siting. With a directional site like this, fiber optic, where you want to be viewing one end or the other, you don't want that site, site to rotate or shift side to side. So we include a detent that's got a tapered uh, stud on the upper part of the detent to help lock that uh, post in place and keep you from getting any lateral movement on it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we got an open package here with, uh, with loose parts and we're going to walk through the installation. It's quite simple. First, we need to remove the factory post and the detent. And to do that, we've already taken all our parts out of the package. And what I have here is our sight wrench. And it has four prongs on it, typical to most AR sites. And that'll simply fit down over your existing site. And you can see that, you know, one of the ears on the tool is depressing the detent when I push that down. So you push that down and you can unthread your factory post and you just want to keep unscrewing it counterclockwise like standard nut or bolt until you unscrew it to where it's free of the detent. But right there, now it'll just freely thread out of the gun and now I can remove the factory sight. All right, so once we've removed the factory sight, we need to come in here and remove the detent. So I'm just gonna get a pair of pliers because I can't quite reach the detent with my fingers and just pull the detent out. There's a spring that'll stay installed in the in the site itself, and we're just going to replace this detent itself. So I'll set that aside, and here I'll uh, kind of just hold these up so you can see the difference between this is the high vis detent with the with the taller tapered stud, and this is a typical factory detent. So you would install our detent, and it should install right over the spring, right in place of the factory detent, and you want to make sure that it moves freely on the spring, and it does typically. Uh, you shouldn't have any issue with this. Uh, this particular site has a detent placed on the side. Many AR uh, folding sites or, or fixed sites have the detent in the back or the front and some have them on the side. So here on the high-vis site, this site is only indexable 180 degrees. So you have to turn it 180 degrees for your adjustment to see either side. But we added detent notches on the side of the site for this exact circumstance. This particular site, the detent is placed on the side. So now that we have the detent in place, we're going to go ahead and install our high vis site. Our detent is a little bit taller, so we can't get a lot of thread by itself. Now we're going to need the tool. So we'll just insert the tool over top of it and just thread it down in place. Now, if you have your gun sighted in, you can count the number of revolutions it takes to remove your sight or bottom your site out first and see how many revolutions it takes to bottom it and set it at approximately the same height. The high vis post is a mil spec post with a taper.
this this particular rifle has not been sighted in, so I'm just going to put it down flush, and we'll take it to the range and finish sighting it in from there. Okay, now we have our sight installed. We're ready to go down to the range and sight it in. One thing I do want to show you is how to interchange the light pipes before we do that. In the in the case that you'd like to either change the color or you break a light pipe, uh, they they uh, all fiber optics fail at some point. We make ours easily interchangeable and replaceable, and you can always get uh, replacement light pipes direct from us. So this particular sight, it is possible to change the light pipe while it's while it's in the gun. Myself, I just prefer to remove it. Uh, they're easy enough to unscrew them, so I'm going to just reverse the installation. So I've unscrewed the sight back, and you just always want to be careful that your detent and spring doesn't come out. So now I have the sight out of the gun, and you can see on this side, you can see the full U shape of the light pipe. If I turn it around, you see that there's kind of a V shape or a web on that back side. That is actually where the fiber locks in place. So here we have the tool that we use to unlock the fiber. And if you can see this tool, it's got a sharp tip on it. It's kind of angled on one side, a little bit flat on the other. So what we want to do is we want to take that, that angled side will go towards this covered side of the site. So you simply take this point and insert it between the light pipe. Oop. <laughs> Hard to do. So you want to insert it right behind the metal here and behind the light pipe. And then you just want to just give a slight pressure and it pops it up. So once that light pipe comes up like that, see if I can do this without dropping it, you squeeze it together and the ends come out of the sight. And then you simply reverse that to install it. So you just squeeze it together slightly, get those ends in the sight. And then when it goes, when you fold it down, you just push it in place and it locks there. There's a, a groove and a slight locking notch where you just push it in and it locks in place. Simple as that. Now we're just going to reinstall this site, back flush with the site, uh, with the site base, and we're going to go to the range and site it in.